Hello and welcome back to another video. My name's Brad and I'm from Torque Cars. Behind me is my Volkswagen Caddy. Now my Caddy's had a couple of mods on it, but I want to be talking to you guys about the top mods, in my opinion, for these Caddies. Now the Volkswagen Caddies are very popular. It drew my eyes to a van um, and I was like, well, vans actually look quite cool. So I actually decided to get the Caddy. You can see the stance on it, how aggressive it is. It's almost got the characteristics at the front of a Golf. Um, and then you've got, going along the back, you've got that nice big panel and then you can also get nice little spoilers. Now, if you've got a barn door on the back, I mean, like me, you only have the small spoiler. But if you were smart enough to go, you know what, I want to get the tailgate, then you can get the nice big spoiler on the back. I say spoiler, it's more of a lip, it just pokes out like that. And uh, I really prefer that to the barn doors. However, it still looks good. So, what we're going to be doing is jumping straight into it. Right now, I'm going to be talking to you guys about the top mods I think are for the caddies. If you are either buying a caddy or you've bought a caddy, if you haven't noticed this yet, I mean, I'm not surprised because I didn't notice it at first. But have a look at the mirrors. A different size. Mod number one for me has got to be the Caddy Life mirrors. Coming in at around £270, I would recommend them. You can get heated and folded, um, and they're going to be much better than those. And if you get the colour coded caps, they're going to look much better. They're coming on the Caddy soon. Now, if you are buying a Caddy or you've bought a Caddy, I definitely recommend a front splitter. That for me is mod number two. From a price range between £80 and £150, that has got to be money well spent to make the front look so aggressive. It looks fantastic. Be careful though, if you're lowered, some splitters sit much lower. So if you're gonna go over speed humps, mine's a KSB, it completely clears the speed humps, um, but obviously it's lowered. So it depends what height you're sitting at for a van. But for a front splitter for a van, I think it looks fantastic. Um, also, it just drags down the front there. You can see the fenders at the front there. It just goes low, sits lower, and it looks really, really menacing. Let's talk about something really important now. Mod number three for me is the alloys. Now, if you've bought alloys for your caddy, you'll know it completely transforms the look. If you've got standard alloys, it's no worries. But get aftermarket ones, because I'm telling you, they make such a difference. These ones are diamond cut. I think they stand out with the white. When I bought this, they come with the caddy. But I think they just stand out, especially at night time, um, just when you get the light shining on it. I think it just looks fantastic. If I got black, I feel like they'd just be lost in the arches and I wouldn't be able to appreciate the, the multiple spokes on it and everything like that. So I'm going to keep them diamond cut. But whatever your preference is for alloy wheels, I definitely recommend. I believe these are 19 inch alloys. But look at that. That just looks absolutely incredible. If you've got a caddy, get some on because I'm telling you, they're worth it. But they're gonna be between probably 500 all the way up to, oh, could be thousands. So it's not exactly a cheap mod, but I definitely recommend it. That's mod number three. Now this is something I wasn't quite aware of when I bought the van. You can see the headlight there. They do look really good for a, a, you know, a van headlight. I think they look nice. They look similar to like a golf headlight, something like that. But there's one problem. The guys that have got a Mark III Caddy can change it. I can't. I've got a Mark IV. So if you've bought a Mark IV Caddy, you're probably in the same position. You can't change your headlight unless you buy a Caddy Life um, headlight. Uh, when I say headlight, I mean head unit. So it's a thousand pound to buy a Caddy Life head units for the two fronts there. That to me is so expensive. Whereas the guys with the Mark III Caddy, they can get ones for 500 pound custom with nice lights uh, coming down that all smoked as well I think they look much better but doesn't put me off buying a mark 4 but the caddy life ones look really good the price point is a thousand whereas if you had a mark 3 caddy the price point is going to be about 500 400 pound and if you can get second hand ones they're going to be even cheaper good luck finding second hand caddy life ones though that's for sure I definitely can't find any my mod number four is going to be a walk around the van because it's going to be a collection of things. I think there's a few things on the van that need to get rid of the chrome and they need to be gloss black. In my opinion, I think you should change the badge at the back here. 
the front down here, it's got chrome along the grill. I think that should go black. And then down here, the bumper, I think those inserts should go black. This is a start line model, so you can see the bumper's been painted. But at the front here, these bits down here, the recess, the grills, they should all go gloss black. Quite an easy mod to do. If you're at home, you've got a weekend, it's warm in the summer, just get them painted, take them off, sand them down, wet sand, do whatever you need to do, whatever the process is that you do to paint, get them painted and I'll tell you, it'll look much better than the plastic before. And they just make the car look a bit more modern and newer. Uh, if you've got plastic, it can look quite outdated after a while because it fades, doesn't it? Even though if you treat it with, when you detail it, if you've got gloss black, it just brings a little something extra out. And you can see the badge at the front there. If anybody in the comments could let me know where I stand with that, because I don't know if you can do that, because it's got the, uh, it's got some sort of sensor in it for front assist, people in front, it beeps at you when someone breaks. But if you can paint that, then do let me know, because it's got like a weird glossy effect over the top. And the mirrors. If you can paint the mirrors black, I think they'll look a little bit better. Depends what colour van you've got, and depends what style you want to go for. But once you've got the Caddy Life mirrors, if you can get them painted black, I think they'll just look a little bit better. And uh, the last one, wrapping the roof. Just make it black, just put it all black, why not? Get rid of all the plastic and just make it all black. And I think, to be honest, it'll look more modern, it'll look newer, and it'll look fresh. Why are we at the side of the van? Well, side rail cover. I bought this from a bloke called Julian Green on the Facebook Marketplace, he was fantastic. He just told me he just needed to know what colour the van was, which obviously it's candy white. And then uh, he sent me the side rail cover. Now all you got to do is bolt it in. You bolt it in at the door here, and then, where, where's my hand? Over there. And that's it. Um, it just goes over the top and you can barely see the contrasting colour there. Even though he bought it, no colour matching to the van, he just painted it candy white. And sent it across and that was £120. Sounds expensive but it's worth it, it gets rid of that rail along the side. Look at that for an angle. Now, the back of the van, what makes it stand out? Well, I've tinted the rear window. I think tinting the rear window with the security panels behind, I think is a no-brainer. When you tint the windows, I just think it gets rid of that, that whole glossy panel and you sort your eyes just sort of look over it rather than being able to see the white panels behind for security. Um, I got mine gloss black and I do prefer it, and if you want to do yours too, I think it'll be around 70 to 90 pound at your local place to get the windows tinted. When I bought the van, I didn't actually know about this modification. It's the sidebars. I'd recommend getting some. I think they look fantastic. They make the car look like they're sitting lower, even though it's not. And it goes all the way along the side. You can get circle ones, you can get the hexagonal ones like I've got. You can get so many different versions. Or, if you fancy it, you can get side skirts and side splitters. I mean, it depends what style you're going for. Mine's a work van, so I don't really want to have it with side splitters, side skirts, stuff that's going to get damaged from going down old tracks. It depends as well where you live. But these look really good. They just make it look a little bit lower and it adds another edge just to make the van look a little bit more cooler. Makes it look a bit more mean as well. If you're a caddy owner, transporter owner, whatever van you own, you're probably familiar with something like this. I've done this in my past two builds if you want to know how to do it. The inside of the van can be modified to whatever you want. You couldn't do this sort of stuff in a car. We've got spotlights up top, we've got some LED surrounds there, really soft lighting and me and my friend done it over the weekend and it, do you know what? It was one of the best mods you can do to your van is customising the interior. You see it, it's practical if you want to go camping, whatever you want to do the inside will have lights and I'm running it off of a leisure pack out the back which doesn't affect my own battery so it's a win-win if you want to know how to do that go and check out my recent videos we're going to come around to the back now and I'm going to show you something super super cool you can probably tell already it's been lowered as I said earlier but you can do this too now you can either get lowering springs you can flip your axle you can make it as expensive or inexpensive as you want depends what style you want uh, for me I can't afford air ride, it's far too expensive. So this is just a lowering kit, but it looks really, really good for it. Coming in between 500, probably to thousands of pounds with the air ride. It's a very expensive mod to do, or inexpensive, depends if you know what you're doing. I'd recommend that for sure. 
Well, this is an interesting one because it can vary for every single caddy owner, transporter owner, whatever Volkswagen van you have. If you've got a 1.6 caddy, you can get a stage one remap and you're depending on the brake horsepower of your model, you can get up to about 150, 160 brake, I think. That's really pushing it at that point. If you've got a two litre TDI like I do, you can get up to 200 brake horsepower stage one. And I believe the torque exceeds 400 newton meters. I could be wrong, don't hold me to that. Um, but there's no dyno printout for this one. Um, but yeah, stage one is 200 brake and I think it's 400 torque. When it rains and you change the alloys and you've got high profile tires, all I'm gonna say is when you put your foot down, it just spins up a bit, but it does gain traction eventually. Obviously that can depend on the tires you use, but for a van it depends if you wanna shell out for some PS4s or something, I mean. That sounds a bit crazy, why would you do that? But if you've got a powerful caddy, then why not? But on another term, for people out there that have done it, people have done engine conversions. If you don't fancy the remap and using the exi existing engine like everyone else does, and you're quite crazy, and you want to change the engine, which, to be honest, is a dream, because people have put RS3 engines in these caddies. I would love to do that. There's a bloke that I'm in contact with that has done it, and... Uh, Let's hope we can get him on the channel because that will be quite surreal. Massive thank you for today's video guys. Let me know if you want to see anything else about the caddies. And like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much.